Welcome back to the house channel. Today we got the hardest split in bowling. I'm back. And we got the guy who made seven seven tens in this bowling alley when we shot him on 48 lanes. Today we're doing big fours on 46 lanes and seeing how many Mitch Hoopa can make. How many do you think you got? I've made it once in my life. I'm hoping for three. Let's go three maybe, three or four. I'm thinking four, minimum. I made seven seven tens. It's pretty hopeful on the Greek churches. I mean, more pins, you think like more opportunities to make it, but I think more pins actually makes it a little bit more difficult because as soon as you hit another pin, it slows down your ball significantly and you don't bounce as much. So I want to make as many as I can seven tens, but if I make like four, I think that'll be pretty good. I bet he has like seven or eight that could have made it and he's got three or four that make it. I'll say four. We got the T-zone back in action, but it's not the purple T-zone, it's the blue T-zone. Unfortunately, I had to switch out because uh, we had some unfortunate damage to the purple one, but uh, hopefully the blue does just as well. I think I'm gonna go for the 10 pin side every shot, at least to start, just because as a right-hander, you have like a little bit of rotation on it and just increases the odds, I think, of sending the six pin over and I don't know, maybe. I don't know if there's any strategy really to tune a big four. I think most people just fire at it and pray. So I'm gonna try and always hit the, the 10 pin dead on to try and increase the odds of the 10 pin bouncing and then that would send the six over. Maybe the six can make its way back. I'm pretty sure like the only big four made was by Walter Ray on TV. And off of that, and if he gets a pinch fast, it goes light. Look out! Who you got the four? Are you kidding me? Pretty sure it was the six pin that came off the wall and uh, tripped the seven into the four. So I don't know. Let's see. This could be all strategy for nothing. Oh. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit further right. The biggest thing is I have to hit two every time, otherwise there's no chance I spare it, so. Oh! See, I think that's my, that's my highest percentage. If I can hit the 10 straight back, send the six, because then I think I have two chances of it getting there. Mitch has got a suspect strategy over here. I don't like it, I don't like it. I think you should drill the right side, I think you should drill the left side of the six every time. It's just it's so hard because as soon as you hit two pins like hitting together, it slows, like it just slows it down so much. So I don't think you can use the pins bouncing off each other. You need to use like the backboard. Make it. Oh, I thought that you might have popped the 10 pin on that one. I know it's so hard when you throw another pin in it because it just, it slows it down so much. The 710 actually might be easier because your ball's never slowing down as it's getting to the 10 pin or whatever corner pin. So it hits it with like maximum power every time. I need to maybe clip the six more, but then I risk only getting one and that's, if I only get one, I'll never spare it. Oh my God. No! Ah! <laughs> Got it! One for one of the seven pins. Kind of. <laughs> you the same thing it. happened when I did the Greek church. Did he not he made every just, split but the Greek church. <laughs> did he not just give a full speech about how the 710 is easier than making the big four? The 710 actually might be easier. And there it is. <laughs> God. How many 710s do you think you're going to make in this video? I hope none. I don't want to make it. I hope that's the only one. No. Money. So you think that's my higher, higher odds if I hit the six harder? Yeah. I also think with the original strategy, if you do drill the, like the 10 pin, I mean, you guys are gonna like it more if it makes a bunch of seven tens in this video too. So. <laughs> Maybe makes a four six by itself. I think that'd be impressive. Six pin doesn't bounce. Maybe, you know, maybe halfway through this video, we gotta phone a friend for a strategy oh. input. <laughs> phone who Walter do, Ray. Who do you think the would only know, guy Walter that's Ray? You probably have his number. I have his number. I can call Walter. Oh. oh. I like that strategy. Now that I'm watching it go down, I like that strategy. If you send the six pin into the back left corner, it can bounce out. And the 10 pin into the back right corner, it can bounce out. That's what I'm saying. No. Zero. Hear me out. If you hit the six pin kind of thin, it could go off the side wall, and then the six pin would hit the 10, and then maybe some of those pins would hit the ball and pop back up over to the other side. I could also get zero. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you try and do that, you're probably gonna get zero a bunch. 
Is over this Mitch's 10. magic lane? I think this is your lane. <laughs> ah. Oh god. But the thing is, like, you can't throw it too hard. Yeah, you can. What? You can throw it so hard that you become inaccurate. That would be the that only would be problem the that I would see. Like, it's not like you're over bouncing pins. You have yet to made a, You have yet to bounce one yet. I bounced a seven ten. My last ones were like twenty four. So let's see if we can increase. Them. If I we could have a McCune out here. 27 miles an hour. All right. No difference. Should I try and slide the six? No, what? Okay. If you slid it though, I would be so impressed. So maybe. The problem is I'm not hitting the, the 10 hard enough. I got hit too much of the six. I'm just too good at shooting the six 10. Mitch, just, uh, just sack up. I need to be more accurate. Call Walter. He's the only one that spared it on TV. Ask him if he has any tips. You think he'd pick up? It's not looking promising. It's not looking good at all. It's looking bad. You know who would pick up? Chris Barnes. <laughs> he would pick up. Please leave your message for Walter Ray Williams Jr. Chris Barnes. Barnes. I don't know why it's on my phone with two last names. Barnes Barnes? Chris Barnes Barnes. I would ask you. Hello. hello, hello. I have a quick question for you. I, we're, we're, yes, in, we're in need of a strategy tip here. We're in the middle of a video. Okay. We're shooting the big four on some A2s at North Rock. What's the strategy? What's the strategy? 0 for 16 right now. 0 for 16. My favorite strategy has actually been at the four pin and try you get it to almost chop the four pin. And that seems to get the four pin up, and up into the bar enough to get it back out of the lane. So it's not like a six pin on the right lane, four pin on the left lane, it's just four pin every time? Yeah, I don't think A2s have much difference between right and left as far as where that bar is as much. That's not like AMFs. Okay. What's Ryan's strategy? Take your thumb out of it. Sling it down there with two fingers as hard as you can. Mitch, it ain't probably getting it down the lane. Yeah, his last one clocked in at 25 miles an hour, so speed is not the issue, it's the right strategy. So you think four pin heavy? All right. I think, yeah, four pin almost chopping it off the seven is kind of what I've had more success with. All right. Sounds good. We'll let you know. Uh, perfect. We'll, uh, we'll keep you updated and let you know if we make any here the back the back 32 lanes. Uh, we appreciate it. All right. Appreciate All right. it. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye. Am, I just, like, am I just stupid then for like my strategy, you know, having the multiple angles? Yeah, Mitch. This is the first time this has ever been done. You didn't have the perfect <laughs> I can't believe you didn't know that, Mitch. Jeez. So take the four straight back, eh? All right. Oh, could you imagine it's the first one that makes it? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need to edit that phone call into like whatever your first one make is. Do we sell out for that, hey? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. That was cool. Just not at all what he said to do. Really chopped the four pin straight <laughs> yeah. off. All of a sudden he starts plinking seven. <laughs> Oh my, Took that was exactly what he was talking about. It's such a weird feeling, cause it's like depressing that I can't make a big four, but then it's like, some people go their whole lives without making a big four. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm probably like one for like 400 lifetime. Uh, I will say that I would like to change my number. <laughs> We're giving some FanDuel live updates, uh, which, you know, I mean, if FanDuel wants to sponsor us, they can. Uh, but if we're giving a live update on over under, Matt said it was at three and a half to start the video. I think now it's at one. I think now maybe we're looking at half. So he's either gonna make one or he's not. I do not think he's making two. Is the 710 just that much easier? The 710 being like the notorious hardest spare? It really isn't. Oh, 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 oh now we got it. Now we got it. That's just the gotta first, do that every time. That was the first time I genuinely like thought you were gonna make it because the pin actually went up like into the top right corner, which all the times you shot the six pin, the six pin went like low left. Yeah. That one actually went up and to the right. Just it's not like that easy to just do that every time. One time? Oh. Ah! We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Getting closer. Man, there's there's like some reason behind that madness then. He's right. Is Chris Barnes the smartest man in huh. I would have never thought to, to shoot it that way. It's like we called the guy who has the most knowledge about this sport in the history of the game. 
No. <sighs> Hated it. It's crazy how much more like the corner pins bounce when you hit it straight with the ball, as opposed to like sending a pin into it and then First a ball. when you try and like double tap both pins. Bang. That and was your strategy. That was a bull, no, 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 no. So my strategy was if you hit it a little bit thinner than that, just a little bit thinner than that, you can get it to ricochet off the wall and then get some, you know, we're all about like team APAG or team spares. I'm like team messengers, even on spares. No. Like that's how Walter made it, like shooting the one back. Listen, I tried. My, my contact list doesn't run deep with legends. Yeah, it does. No. I feel like that's the shot that um, a lot of people will throw and be like, oh, almost got it. I almost got but, it. Uh, really? No, it's not close Did at all. you almost get it? It's like the equivalent of the strike shot. People are like, man, I almost shot 300. What did you shoot? 279, I missed it in the third. Oh my. See, like, I don't think that's close at all. Sweet baby rays. I need to be more accurate. Like, I need to be able to hit the six okay, or so the four straight back. Okay, you decide to be more accurate? <laughs> Dude, it's hard. Every time I want to be more accurate, I just decide that I should be, and then I am. All right, decide. It's all mental. Okay. It, when you do that, it does bounce. It's just hard to do that every time. Well, maybe you should just decide See, to like, be more See, like, shooting accurate. the 710 is easy because, like, you just have to hit it and your odds are dramatically increased, but this is like you have to hit it a certain way, plus get lucky. 29 and 30 we used for the warm-up pair and 29's down, so we're only shooting 46 today instead of 48. Oh yeah, baby. Ah, uh, I just want to give you guys one. We're running out of time. We are, yeah, you start like down there and you have like the whole bowling center in front of you. Now I only have like seven pairs. This is like an analogy for life. <laughs> yeah, you're Five born hours. and you have the whole bowling alley ahead of you. The next thing you know it, you're on the end pair. Chance. Oh, oh. No. <gasps> Come on. Like, was that close? I think so. We're doing the Chris Barnes strategy for the rest. I think he's right. I mean, the only ones I've been kind of close to, I've been Well, there's three things. You gotta be really, really accurate, really, really lucky, and be able to throw it 24 miles. I don't think the speed is the biggest part of it. I really don't. I asked Mike Wolf how many bonus pins he thinks Kevin McCune gets per tournament because he shoots his spares at 27 miles an hour. And he said it's probably about four. He's, oh my God, I don't know. We should fly him out and do this with him. We no, because then he'll make, me, he'll make me feel really bad about my Put seven. Put some W's in the chat if we should fly Kevin McCune out or if we should just see how many Mitch has to shoot before he makes this. <laughs> hey, Corey, we're coming back tomorrow. Can you uh, do it we've again? Been, we've been here for a week. <laughs> this is day we've seven. We've been here for one week. Make it. Got an eight every time. The one time he did plank just the 10, technically he still got eight. Yeah, I still, still got the got, count. He still got two because he made the seven ten. Just saying it, just saying it today. Maybe we host a tournament at the alley. First one to make the big four. That'd be kind of interesting, actually. <sighs> oh, oh God. my Damn it, man. God. Just give me one, just give me one. Just one time. I do think Chris was right, because I have not been close um, since before trying his tactic. So I think my theory of trying to Bounce the 10, slide the slide the, the six, ain't it. Do you think Chris Barnes is the smartest man in bowling? Uh, he's pretty, he's up there, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying, standing up here it looks a lot easier than what you're making. <laughs> Have you ever spared the big four? Yeah, once. Slid the six into the seven and then just like fell forward. I made the big four once in my entire life. And it was when I was like 16 and I bought 276. Yo! Wow. was the big four. Wow. <laughs> never made it since then. Yeah, you'll never forget that though. Until right now. <sighs> Damn. Mitch, you, you stink at this. By the way, thanks for doing this video. You're welcome. It's, it's usually more fun on my end when I can spare some. The 710 video just set you up for failure. I know, that's what I was telling Packy. <laughs> Yeah, like you I made did seven walk away. of these. I can make anything. Oh, that's a that's a make. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it, Chris! <laughs> Wait, play that phone call back where he said try and get one. He said it's almost like you chop it. That was it. That was the chop. 
<laughs> oh my God, he's a laser. I mean, what more do you want from me? You gotta tell the people. Tell the people why that happened. What? I don't know why that happened. you're the most accurate spare shooter on tour. Not the most accurate, but I am one of the higher spare percentages. There's a lot of lucky spares in, those, in that percentage. <laughs> Mitch is about a 97% spare shooter. 10% of that being luck. No! There's no way. <laughs> what, am I, what am I supposed to do? What? I'm doing what he told me to do. It's not working. Um, one more time. So do we abandon this tactic or? Chris, so Mitch has got one, three <laughs> shots in a row. One more time. Oh, oh my, my God. God, what is going on? <laughs> Do you know how precise you have to be to do that? He didn't say to chop it. <laughs> well, no he shit. said almost like you're chopping it. At this point, let's just see how many times I can do that. At this point, let's just see how many you can get in a <laughs> row. Just kidding. Just Let me move it one millimeter. All right. Oh, they collided. Do you know what the nickname is for a big four? I thought that was a nickname. Uh, it, it is a nickname because it's a four, six, seven, ten. Quattro Grande. Like the Quattro Grande? No, it's actually, uh, I looked it up online, it's called Grandma's Teeth. Oh, yeah. Because there's nothing in the middle. There's still two lanes to go. The people love your release. Just give them a strike shot yeah. here. <laughs> just give them a strike shot here. They Let me just show release. them the release one last time. They love your release. It's silky smooth. Last two, he's going two for two. Why? Because Mitch is for the people. All right, Pat, which side am I going for? Left side still? Left side. You drill that thing. Oh, what? Oh, no. How did that not make it? No. That, that was, was that so was, close. That was the one. You know it's tough when everybody's like... <laughs> oh. One time! What more could I do? I gave it a chance every time, except for once. Uh, let's run it back, let's try again. Let's go for 96. What do you gotta say about yourself, Mitch? I'm disappointed that I didn't give the fans what they wanted. I can let myself down all the time, but I don't let you guys down. And just for that, we've created a brand new Mitch Hoopay shirt that says, I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it more than Mitch, to be honest. I had a blast just filming, watching you almost bounce out a bunch and make a 710, plank a bunch of them a bunch of four pins by themselves in a row. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just set my expectations too high. Like this is one of the most unique opportunities we get because of the relationship that we have with Bolero North Rock. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, please.